Hello my friends, Jordi Power here. Today I have an amazing project to show you. A hard project. I've always been a fan of this button color scheme. You know, they remind me of the old Super NES controller. That's lovely. So when I got my Switch, I was kind of disappointed. So I thought, uh, why not, man? And I got this ordered online. Those are replacement buttons for the new 3DS. So today we are going to try to install this into this right Joy-Con controller. Yep, I think it's gonna be hard. When I disassemble this, what we'll find is that these buttons don't fit into this shell. So I guess we are going to have to modify this a lot. Two possible outcomes. One, everything goes according to plan and I end up with the most amazing Joy-Con controller in the world. And two, I totally screw up. Yeah, maybe I screw up disassembling this bad boy or reassembling it. Or maybe I destroy these buttons when I try to mod them. So, a lot of things can go wrong. But hey, the baddest thing that can happen is I threw this or I break this one. So I'll have to buy another one. 40 bucks. So let's get to it, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, big spoiler guys, it worked. First of all, be sure to have the appropriate tools, like this iFixit kit I got myself. There's nothing I hate more than doing a job without the appropriate tools, so invest guys. So here are the tools I used, my Dremel with the file bit, this isn't obligatory but it's easier with, the Philips screw bit double zero, the tri wing or tri point Y00 bit, some tweezers, a tool to pry and to push, cutter, flat small file, super glue, sliding caliper, and a permanent marker. Okay, let's disassemble the Joy-Con. Okay, so we'll start with the tri-wing bit, and we are going to remove the four screws. Be careful not to lose them. Now let's open the Joy-Con. You don't need any tools, so be careful, okay? And then we're going to get the battery out. So do some prying. There's a little bit of tape in here. Okay, and now let's disconnect it carefully. Nice. So let's change a bit. Philips. And we're going to remove the three screws. Okay, don't lose them. Let's get this thing out. I don't know if this is an antenna or, or something. Okay, and now let's lift this little door. And now let's get this cable out with some tweezers. Hope this tutorial is useful, thumbs up if it is, and if not, don't know, maybe check my retro gameplays, uh, yep, here. Now let's get this button out, and let's disconnect this connector, I think it's from the Aptic Engine. Now let's lift the second door, okay and get the cable out carefully. Now these two screws with the Philips. Let's disconnect this cable okay, by lifting the doors. And now carefully trying to remove the cables. There we go. Okay, now we lift the motherboard and we have these two pieces apart. Okay, now let's concentrate on the buttons. Let's get this out and drop the buttons without losing them. The switch Joy-Con buttons and let's compare them with the 3DS ones. 
Guys, be cautious, disassembling it, you don't want to break anything. So now, let's do some measurements. So let's measure these 3DS buttons and take the measurements. Don't stress, guys, I'm going to write them down. Okay, so now the switch Joy-Cons buttons. So you see this one is a little thicker than the 3DS one, no worries. So you see the buttons of the 3DS have di different enclosures, so we'll have to mod them. Also the measurements are slightly different. So you have a perspective here. The good news are that um, the button himself has the same diameter, so that's good, we can work with that. The enclosures I was telling you about, these 3D buttons won't fit on the Joy-Con shell. Too bad, it wouldn't have been too easy, right? <laughs> okay, time to mod these buttons and make the magic happen. So we are going to file the button of the switch and just keep the base. So we have a smooth surface on both sides. So I'm going to use my Dremel on the setting number 6. So guys, make sure the button is secured and don't hurt yourself. Carefully start slowly and then when you take the hand on it, you can accelerate. Remember, you only have one, one chance on this. Don't break the switch buttons, okay? So with the Dremel is pretty fast. You, you could use a manual file to do this, but it would take forever. So that's better. So when you get to what you want, you'll have to finish by hand with the small file. You don't want to go too far. And then clean it up with the cutter and try to have something neat and smooth. Okay, keep them in a secure place. So now, let's do the other one. So here we go guys, we have the four switch buttons mod, and now it's time to mod the 3DS buttons. So what we are going to do is take all the base out, but we are going to keep the thickness of the base, and we'll get something pretty close to the original switch button. So don't cut yourself. So use the file to smooth the edges now. And once you think you're finished, try to put this in the shell. So you, you see, that's bad. What you need is something that will go through without effort. So let's finish this up and try it again. Okay, that's what we are looking for. So we'll take the base and we are just going to glue the 3DS button on top of it. So you see the measurements I was talking about, we end up with 3.85 and that's pretty close to the original switch dimension. So let's get the other buttons down. Cool! Ok, let's glue these bad boys. Now, before gluing, we're going to mark them so we keep track of the the orientation of the buttons. So take the black marker 
and just mark the top of the button. This will be useful later to align the base with the 3DS buttons. So we are going to do the same with our buttons. Take the letter and mark the top of it. Okay, like this. These marks will let us be sure that we don't glue the buttons and the bases in the wrong direction. So time to glue. Just one drop, okay? And then be careful since you only have one chance. Okay, align them, make contact, adjust, and it should be okay. So that's what we get. Pretty good. Let's try it. Okay, it seems to work fine. You don't have to be super precise aligning them, but you, you don't have to get the button stuck when you try to put them in the shell. So let's finish the other buttons and try them. So here we go, guys. That's what it will look like. Okay, now that everything seems to fit correctly, let's reassemble this Joy-Con. Yep. Okay, the rubbers. Well, basically, what you are going to do is a reverse step. Don't forget the buttons. Oh, here I forgot the cross button. I'll come back later at it. The difficult part. You have to get these cables in. And close the doors once you have them in, okay? And then the other one. This is best to do before screwing the motherboard on the Joy-Con. Okay, here we go. Close them. And now this one. So you want to try to put it up, okay, like this. Cool. And now we're just going to connect it. Be careful not to break the cables, okay guys? And close the door, perfect. Now put the right button in. And now let's connect the battery base. This one is easy, okay. And close the door. Now the cross I told you about, don't forget it. Okay, cool. And now we, we can screw the motherboard on the Joy-Con. There's only two, two screws in here. Place the battery base and put the three screws in. Come on guys, the difficult part is over. So now be sure to put the cable as I show you. Okay, I think this is antenna for the amiibos, maybe. Cool. And now let's connect the battery. So you just have to apply some pressure. Nice. And put it back in. Okay, so we can close the Joy-Con now. Just apply some pressure and it should be okay. And now the only thing left is to put the four screws back in. Yep, here we have it, guys. The Super Nest Joy Con. Everything seems to work fine. I guess I reassemble it correctly. So now the fire test. Let's try it and hope it works. So what better game to try the new Joy-Con than Metal Slug 3? Yeah. Guys, I have a gameplay for Metal Slug Advance, so check it out. Marco. 
Okay, mission one, start! Okay, the jump button works fine. That shoot, yeah. Nice. Take this. Okay, the button seems to work fine. Cool. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Drop some bombs, drop some bombs, yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Whoa, take this. Thank you, heavy machine gun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everything seems to go fine. So there you go, guys. Everything is okay. My Super NES then switch. First in the world. Or not, I don't know, but I couldn't find anything similar online, so... Very cool, huh? Hope this tutorial was useful. Thumbs up and subscribe for more moddings, retro gaming, unboxings and geek stuff. So as always, may the power be with you.